Hello, welcome to the bowling trail. <laughs> okay, today we're going to talk about Singapore Open, which is happening from the 27th May to 10th June. Temasek Club, Singapore Bowling at Rifle Range. This facility was built in, in 2015. 2015. Yep. And we have 38 lanes of switch lanes. It is the biggest bowling alley in Singapore with 38 lanes. Switch lanes, the, cons the ball return is a bit uh, wider, so it will eat into some of the lane space. So like when I stand at 35 because I cross over, technically on my second step, I hit the ball return already. So you all might want to give that some thought. Yeah. All right, so Singapore Open is the MQ format. And so we can try as many times as we want before we make it to the finals. So each block has three games. So best of two blocks makes it. So for round one, we will have top 10 from the local and overseas pool and 11 from the mixed pool. But because the top three of the local and the overseas pool have a bye to round two. Oh wait, no, there's two desperados that will also make the cut. <laughs> so... so it's yeah. 1 plus 7 plus 7 plus 11 plus 2. How much is that? 28. 28. I think so. 28. <laughs> the one is our defending, defending champion, champion. Sheritan. Thank you very much. I worked so hard. I beat Hui for it. <laughs> <laughs> Two games. <laughs> so 28 bowlers will bowl round 1. Then 8 games. Yes, 8 games. Correct. Top 12 makes it for round 2. They will be joined by the top 3 from the local and overseas pool. So 18 eight. bowlers will bowl. 8 games. Then yes. top 4? Four? Top 4 makes it <laughs> for the step ladder. 3 will bowl. 4? Four. 4 will bowl. No! no. 3 will bowl. <laughs> the winner, winner of the match will bowl 2. Yes. And then the winner will bowl 1. And if it's like last year, it is a 1 plus 1. Yes. yes. So the top seed has a one game advantage. Correct. The men, it will be top 14, 14 for the local and overseas pool. Top 12 from the mixed pool. And three desperado slots. Correct. And one defending champion. Correct. So, uh, you edit yourself lah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we are not guys. <laughs> I think it's 38 bowlers. Okay. I think so. But I never s then I think 38, then top 24 makes it for round 2. This one I'm not sure. Take it with a pinch of salt because yeah. we are not too sure about the guy's side. Yeah. Yes. Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on, we'll now talk about the oiling pattern for Singapore Open. Drum yes. roll. 42 bit. <laughs> ice so. conditioner. Yes. Uh, ice conditioner, like we said, uh, it's a little bit more slick and I feel like especially the lanes here at the Masik Club, they tend to favour the slower ball speeds. The Masik, because it's quite high friction on certain lanes, right? So the front doesn't feel like it's ice, but the back, they, they will make you feel like it's ice conditioner. So it's, it becomes a little bit tricky when there's uh, after 3-4 hours of bowling, because the front will be burnt, but the meat will be pushing. pushing. Yeah. So you need to find the right ball to get the right read. The ball that needs to go through and still read up at the mid. So that's the tricky part. Mm. Yes. And if you read, it must be continuous into the pocket. Because most of the time when you get a read, it just like slow down and doesn't mm. like hit the pins the right way. Then your pin 10 will say hello. <laughs> and, and not to forget the urethane carry down here can get quite... Um, Brutal. And the urethane people, they tend to surface a lot. So then the front becomes even drier mm. and the back becomes even longer. Mm. So, yeah. So do as you deem fit <laughs> to get the right match. Yeah. We're not going to be talking about our Arsenal selection for Singapore Open. Because? Mainly because we have all our balls here. So it's quite pointless to say I'm bringing these nine balls, but actually I have 40 balls here. <laughs> right, because uh, the Masik Club is our national team training ground. So we do have a ball storage area behind the lanes and we have a lot, a lot of balls at the back. So 
it would be more helpful to just say that what's not in our bag, maybe. <laughs> okay, number one ball that's not gonna be in your bag. What is it? Not in my bag. Other brand bowling ball, lor. You know what's not gonna be in my bag? Purple hammer. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <Everybody's> favorite. <laughs> so we thought uh, we might share what we're gonna do for the five minutes of practice throw for each MQ block. Cause this five minutes goes by really fast. Yeah. On average, we will have four to a pair. And then based on our calculations, you can get about four to six shots of first ball shots. Yeah, so it's very important to throw good shots within the five minutes. You don't want to be using that five minutes to warm up into your normal bowling and then spend your first game mm. having a practice throw, then you waste your one game. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And it's only a three game block and one MQ is $60. You do not want to use $20 to figure out the lanes. Am I right? <laughs> yes, and if you keep trying, trying, and then you never make full use of your warm up shot, then you end up having to bowl Desperado. Desperado is $120 <laughs> for one game. One game. <laughs> and you bowl in the middle of the night, and then you. <laughs> it's not good for your rest and recovery. Yeah, if you make it, you have to come back in the morning. No, uh, the round one masters is in the afternoon. Oh. So uh, we run through uh, what we would do our game plan for five minutes of practice show. <laughs> Every day I'll do the same thing because Tamasi has this um, tendency to play different from day to day. Depends on who is oiling the machine and which squad you're at, also which lane you're on. So I will test the outside and the middle of the lane as well. So outside I'll start with um, my Zen Yu, uh, maybe around four or five at the arrows and then I'll just see whether you read or not. Then if it's close, then I'll adjust the surface and probably start with it. Then for the next three or four shots, I will try either the jam or DNA, swinging it. Yeah. Jam again. Yes, the jam. <laughs> yeah, so if... How many jams do you have? I only have one. Oh, <laughs> that's not, not a lot for a jam lover. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, then if um, my DNA is too lazy at the back, then I'll probably go to the C4. It's a very old ball, you, you cannot find it anymore. Mm. So I'll use that ball. Yes. From Global. From Global. Yeah. C4, Ordnance. Alright, for me, usually I would start with my urethane as well on the further outside to see whether I urethane is actually playable or not. And then after that, that will be like maybe the first two shots. After that, I will try out my reactive options somewhere closer to the outside where my urethane is and then somewhere further, maybe around the 12, 13 at the arrows with my reactive as well to see if I have a shape out there and then from there I decide which one gives me the best look and then I will start with that Okay, so for me, I will start with my pitch black on the outside and then I'll throw one shot each per lane and then after that I'll try the Reactive, which is going to be like a reality or a maybe DNA and see how it behaves and then I move on from there. So uh, I think most importantly is you, you cannot raise the face your ball after, the, after each game. So when you set up your equipment, let's say you take a pitch black out and then you throw the first shot and then you realize the lane is a lot oilier. So all your ball, when you step down from it, you also have to adjust accordingly. You don't send the first ball, and then you never send the second and third ball, and then after that you can't use either. Yeah. So it's important to set up your equipment right before the start of each MQ. I think also if you're going to surface and adjust your every ball, it's also to have it like gradually different and not like if one is Drastic, yeah. yeah not like one 500 and all 500 like it doesn't work that way there you have it that's our thoughts for singapore, singapore open, open this year we will see you no, no. hope to see you guys <laughs> soon in uh, singapore bye, bye. bye.